everyone. A while ago I had shared uh, what we were using for each grade with my father's world and why we were enjoying my father's world. And uh, as we got closer to actually starting our homeschool year, I was feeling very overwhelmed with the amount of work that we had to do using uh, my father's world, um, 1850 to modern times. Um, I was pregnant and I knew I would be having a newborn and he was born two weeks ago today. He's two weeks old already. Um, but I knew having him and so many little people that need my attention and need my help that I would have to readjust uh, what we were using for our curriculum. Now with my father's world I have really enjoyed it the first like five or six years that we used it. It worked really well. I enjoyed all of the years that we did. But as we got to the last, even last year, and um, so exploration to 1850 and then 1850 to modern times, I was feeling really overwhelmed with the amount of help that I would have to give to my older children and also to my younger kids. I decided that it would be best for my oldest, who's in eighth grade, to do her work completely independent and then I could focus my attention more on the younger kids who need me more than she does. She is a very good reader <clears throat> and she's more than capable of doing her work on her own. Now if she has questions she will come to me and just bring her book and I will help her out with whatever she needs help with. Um, but because she's able to do everything on her own I decided to switch curriculums and um, give her something that was more independent and that she didn't need me as much. So we got rid of the My Father's World uh, 1850 to Modern Times. <coughs> I, am, I kept some of the read alouds that I had lined up for that and we've been doing those in our morning basket. But for everything else we decided to switch to something else.